Today, jurors heard testimony from multiple people, including the woman who called 911 and reported Ramos had a gun when he did not. She cried on the stand, saying that 911 call was the worst mistake she's ever made. I feel so, so bad about this. Miko Scott took the stand, tearfully recalling what happened in April of 2020. I heard conflicting stories about he was doing this, he was involved in this. She told the jury her son was upset about Mike Ramos doing drugs in the apartment complex parking lot. And if I could take anything back, I would take that back, sir. I, I would take that back, sir. I've never seen that man with a gun. Scott testified she told 911 she saw Ramos with a gun because other people told her he had one, but she did not see a weapon. I'm so sorry. If his mom or parent, I'm so sorry. I didn't see him with no gun. Austin Police Sergeant Shelley Holstrom walked the jury through evidence from the scene. She testified a hatchet was found in the car Ramos was driving, but no guns were found anywhere nearby. Holstrom also testified police found presumably stolen checks and credit cards in the car Ramos was driving, plus drug paraphernalia, something defense attorneys zeroed in on. Can it cause people to, to act unpredictably? Yes. Can it increase aggression and uh, aggressiveness levels? Yes. An expert in forensic visualization also took the stand, testifying his company used more than a dozen police and bystander videos to make a 3D reconstruction of the scene. Prosecutors played some of those videos in court. The animated reconstructions of the shooting allowed the jury to see everything from different vantage points. The defense pushed back against those videos, questioning whether they're reliable enough to be used in a high stakes murder trial. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.